On this episode, we talk about how Raspberry Pi has sold 10 million units, some of them to me. Hello everybody and welcome to episode 11 of Daily IoT. Just a quick episode today covering just a little bit of news, but it's big news and it's from Raspberry Pi. Haven't talked about the Pi in a while uh, on any of my YouTube videos, uh, but really the Raspberry Pi was kind of the first other than microcontrollers platform that I started using to do Internet of Things projects. And today, I saw it on Twitter, they also had a blog post on it that I will link up below, announced that they have now sold over 10 million Raspberry Pis, which to put this in perspective, uh, they were, I, I was thinking, gosh, it seems like they just sold 5 million. So I went back and looked and it was literally just a little over a year ago, year and a half ago, February of last year, they put a blog post out saying we've now sold 5 million. So in about 19 months, we went from 5 million sold to 10 million units sold. And it took three years prior to that to go from zero to 5 million. And uh, I don't want to say that the curve is exponential, but you know, it took them a while to get to a million, and that was a huge deal. And then, like I say, last year they got to five million, and now we've gone from five to 10. We've doubled in just over a year and a half. Raspberry Pi continues to dominate in, I'm not gonna single it out to IoT, because as the blog post points out, uh, the, the Raspberry Pi was not created for Internet of Things. Um, even Upton created the Raspberry Pi in the hopes of getting, his mission was to get more people to enroll in computer science majors. And they wanted to get it into um, kids' hands and start using it for education. And then they've massively delivered on that uh, goal. Uh, but you know, it's trickled out into the internet of things. People are using it in maker projects. It's amazing. It's just, just a huge, cool thing to see. They can't believe how much it's grown, but super excited for them. Uh, so that's big news. In addition to that, to sort of celebrate, they say, the, the 10 millionth Raspberry Pi being sold, they also came out with a standard Raspberry Pi kit that includes, I mean, it looks like an Apple product. It's, it's white everything, the box is super sleek. Um, but uh, it's got a book in it, a very popular Raspberry Pi uh, project book. Um, it's got a Raspberry Pi, obviously, and some other things. It's sort of their official uh, starter kit for Raspberry Pi. So that's news uh, coming out of the Raspberry Pi. If you've never played with a Raspberry Pi, um, I would highly recommend if you're looking for something that has a good horsepower, you need to do like video, um, camera capture, and things like that, Raspberry Pi is a great, great platform to get started with. Um, as I've been talking about the Jewel a little bit, I talked about last week. Um, if you're torn between whether to get a Raspberry Pi or a Jewel, stop being torn, get a Raspberry Pi. If you're just getting started, spend the, um, I don't even know how much they cost nowadays, but um, 20 bucks I think is what you can get, 25 you can get one for it. And they have the, the Zero, which is even cheaper nowadays, um, compared to over 350 for a Jewel. So I would definitely recommend a Raspberry Pi over a Jewel if you're just getting started. And if you end up loving it and want more and want more power, then switch to a Jewel. But um, really happy to see the Raspberry Pi um, doing so well. Um, great platform. And um, if you're just getting started, it's uh, something to consider. Okay. Um, in other news, uh, Apple announced, um, and this isn't about Apple's new iPhone and things like that, but they, as part of their announcement uh, yesterday, they announced a, their, I think they're calling them AirPods, uh, which are basically these earbuds, except without the wires, they're wireless. And so they look just like this, without the wire, stick them in your ears. Um, the protocol on that is Bluetooth. So uh, if you've been hacking around with uh, Bluetooth in any of your platforms to use uh, like a Bluetooth um, speaker device, the Apple uh, AirPods uh, would, would fit the description of that. You could use those to hack around uh, to get audio in one of your projects on a platform that has Bluetooth. So uh, that was just one of the things Apple announced, but it's the only one I care about because it's Bluetooth. It's it's a standard outside of Apple's proprietary stuff that if you wanted to use in one of your projects to hack on, you certainly uh, can do that. There's a pairing button on the case. Um, and so people were wondering whether it was a proprietary format or not. It is just Bluetooth. And so you can use it uh, like you would any other Bluetooth device. Okay. Um, last up, 
Uh, I feel like it's kind of a weird episode because I'm talking about the Raspberry Pi. Um, I'm going to talk about the Photon here in a second, and I'm wearing an Onion Omega shirt. It's like i got platforms all over here. Um, but um, just an update. I'm going to be spending a bunch of time. I was going to spend a ton of time on the Omega. Uh, I was super excited about the Omega 2, and I was supposed to get an early version of it. I had talked to those guys, and I was, they were going to send me an early one. I was going to start putting content out, actually, on the Omega 2 before it even got into people's hands to kind of give people a head start. But they're super busy over there. Um, I, I don't blame them at all. Um, they've got a lot of stuff going on with the Kickstarter closing out. So um, I'm going to switch gears. I've had a photon itch that I got to scratch. And so I'm going to just be hammering on the photon for the next couple weeks, I think, just trying a bunch of stuff, diving deeper into the platform. Um, and so if you have any questions about Photon or anything that you're curious about on Photon that you'd like me to investigate, um, I'm going to be jamming on the platform for a little while. So I would love to answer any questions or try anything out um, that maybe you don't have time to look into that you're curious about on the Photon. So be happy to do that. Uh, just let me know. Also want to say thank you. I do this every week, every episode. Thank you for subscribing. But we have passed 800 subscribers, which is super humbling. I really appreciate everybody watching. And uh, my son recommended that I do something for 1,000 subscribers to celebrate. And I think I will. And I think I'm going to do something in the show. So when we hit 1,000 subscribers, we got to do some sort of cool giveaway. Um, I don't know what that looks like yet. But if you have suggestions, stick them down in the comments. I uh, would love to hear it. Again, if you have any questions about the Photon, uh, please stick those uh, down in the comments as well. All right, that's it. That wraps up the show for today. Question of the day, going back to Raspberry Pi. Have you played with the Raspberry Pi? And if so, um, what are your thoughts? How, do you, how does it compare to other platforms that you've tried? Appreciate everybody watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning all about the Internet of Things one day at a time.